Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we are gonna jump in as Maggie and try and continue going through all our characters. We should be on a one streak right now, but I started a new run and I had to end the recording because I, I am not even joking. I got, I got incredibly angry. Like, like an unfathomable about, unfathomable amount of anger. Like just, I was just so viscerally angry at what happened at the start of the last run. So, let me just break it down for you here. So, I got a golden bomb and the intruder in my item room, in my item room, which is great. Then, I found my second secret room with a golden bomb, and it had a trinket in it that, if you don't get a devil deal, has a chance to replace your uh, boss item with an angel item for sale or a devil deal. And I got an angel item for sale, um, and I only had, I think, five cent, um, and... It was the Spirit of Acceptance, the one that basically spawns double items all the time. It's fucking incredible. Like, one of the best items in the goddamn game, getting up the first floor. And I, I used my Golden Bomb on everything on the entire floor and got, I think it was 12, 12 cent. And then I go into, no, it was 11 cent, sorry. Then I went to my shop like, okay, I'm just going to bomb my donation machine on my shopkeeper. Shopkeeper gave nothing. And no donation machine, only a reroll machine. Bomb the reroll machine, it gave me one penny. So I was stuck on 12 cent with the best item in the game, my item room. And I just, I scoured the entire floor. I bombed everything. There was no crawl space. There was nothing. It was just, I was honestly just so depressed and angry. I was like, what, what, what do I do with this run now? Like... Do I continue it? And I just thought, no, it's getting scrapped. I'm not I'm not entertaining the idea of that run. It's pissed me off enough. I'm not giving it the chance to succeed on YouTube. How dare you taunt me with that? Throw that in my face and not give me any way to get it. I, I, I literally scoured every room. I bombed every single rock. It was like 15 minutes long on the first floor of me just desperately trying to get an extra money. Nowhere to be seen. You watch the be a donation machine in here now. Oh look, a donation machine. Could have used that fucking last run. Like, how often is it a is it a reroll machine rather than a donation machine? How often? So rarely. Goddamn bastards, man. So annoyed. So annoyed. Such a good angel item. So I'm starting, I'm starting this episode off with a bit of anger, mainly for the run that we lost, but also for the fact that I lost my streak. This is a horrible room. Kind of an awful room. Infested. Dude, can you guys stop spawning stuff, please? There's enough dippies. More than enough dippies. So yeah, I'm just that that just set me off, and I was like, do I just keep going with this recording? I'm like, nah. I've just spent 15 minutes messing around on one floor, doing basically nothing, only to have me be really annoyed. It's 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 honestly kind of ruined my day a bit. It has. I was I was genuinely so sort of ready to record and hyped, and it's proper soured my mood. It really has. I was really feeling so good. Don't know why I used the bomb there, that was completely pointless. But, yeah, I'm just not in a good way now. Really not in a good way. Don't like the fact that I don't have mapping right now either. Where the hell am I going? I have no idea. Did I go to the cash room? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I don't know where I've been and where I haven't been. Found secret room at least. Oh, and there's the crawl space I was missing from my last run as well. Ah, god damn it. Oh, what? Well, what? Holy shit, that's a big jump. We got it in the end, though. And we got spider bite for our troubles there, not bad. Wait. Ah, oh, this is the right pain in the ass, this is. I say I want to use the chaos disc, but I want to keep my full health. Chaos disc. Okay. Out we go. Ugh. 
God, my commentary's just all over the place now, out of, after that. All over the place. I hugely apologise to everyone listening. I hate not having mapping. Okay, this is a room we haven't been to yet. Really don't want to pull him closer. I will bomb this, because it can give you up to 4 cent. Give me 3. Now the money's just rolling in, isn't it? It's just rolling in. Right, we been this way? Yes. We been this way? Yes. This is such a large floor for Curse of the Lost. What the hell's going on? We got dog tooth. Useful for now. Baleful heart. Baleful Heart's rather nice if we can keep it alive. Soul Heart there. That helps us keep it alive. Trial has expired. To be expected. Right, just got the boss room left now then, haven't we? Yeah. I guess so. Uh... Oh, we got golden... Wait, do we get golden plum flute for, for letting you stay alive? Oh, dude, my little ghosts are going to kill him. I'm going to let my thingy go, my baleful heart. I want to see if we get a golden plum flute for uh, letting this guy survive. I think we will. Sadly, the baleful heart had to go, which is annoying because I really like the baleful hearts, but... Wasn't conducive to this, this boss. Come on, dude. It's been a while now. Ow. There you go. Yeah! Someone's friendly golden plum flute, yes. Baby. That's kind of nice, I like that. Right, where are we going here? We can do Mother. We can also do Dark Path. I guess we'll do Dark Path. Yeah, this is something a bit unique. Golden plum flute. You don't see that very often, do you? I'll be honest, I don't know if Golden Plum Flute does much different. Like, I think it is literally just Plum but stronger. I don't know if you can turn enemies to gold or anything like that, but still. Happy to have him around, I guess. Didn't know that was a reflected item there, my bad. These guys are going to be kind of annoying. But, guess what, people? Guess what? It's Baldur's Gate release day today, um, so I'm going to be playing that a good amount. I still don't really know anything about it. I kind of took a bit of your guys' advice and looked a little bit into classes um, in terms of what I should play and what I enjoy. I think I'm going to do a Dragonborn um, Warlock is, is, is what I'm looking at. I want to do something that has, like, a lot of magic and trickery involved, and Warlock seems re reasonably good for that, that purpose. So that's kind of what I've got my mind set on at the moment. If anyone has any suggestions along that sort of angle, then do let me know, because I'd be intrigued. Excuse me, heart, if you could make your way into my body, please. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I've, I've very much not really looked at it much at all. Oh, by the way, um, we have some new enemies. I got a new um, a new mod pack called, like, Krabby's Mod Pack, I think it's called like that. Krabby's Enemy Pack, something along those lines. Um... That we're going to be using from now on. Um, well, we're testing it at the moment. We, I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet. But it adds like 30 new enemies and over like 4,000 new rooms. Something along those lines. So it's uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, it's cool to see new enemies. I like it. I know with Fiendfolio we don't exactly need new enemies. But more the merrier. It keeps the game fresh. So we'll be seeing new enemies here and there. Excuse me little fella. You could kindly die, thank you. Love that. I'm sure I'll do the boss now and use my uh, golden plum flute while I have the charge. Ugh. Gross boss. Oh! He can spawn coins. Okay. That's really good to know. So basically, with his slam attack, he can spawn coins. That's, that's a lot of coins he spawned.
Can you stop being a nuisance? Yeah, and then we get... The, the, the thing I hate most about this boss, I'll be honest, is you, you fight through this guy, who's a pain in the ass the entire time, and then... Uh, should we do angel deal here? Yeah, we'll, we'll do angel deal. Um, you fight through this guy the whole last time, and he's like, he is literally one of the worst items ever. <laughs> Thanks. Like, unless, like, until you get this thing to, like, level 3, it's completely worthless. Like, even the orbital damage on it is just really nothing to write home about. Dude, can you, like, come over here so I can hit you, please? It's not really fair that you're just sitting behind cover. There you go. Wait until I'm unfeared. It was worth it. Black Lotus. Nice. My health is looking healthy. I'll be honest, I'm, sta I'm starting to accept the, the loss of the last run a little more, considering this is such a good run, but I'm still salty. Either way, um, how is everyone doing today? I've not asked a question of the day yet, have I? Um, hmm. Hmm. What's a change you'd make to one of your favourite games to make it even better? That's an interesting one, I think. I think that one could, could go the distance. Right. Um, zich. Pretty terrible, but we'll take it. Uh, what? Get off me. Check this out. Ooh, hello. Um, what's this room do? First, first things first, let's um, let's blast these out. Rills all pickups in the room. Okay, I kind of thought that's what it would be. Um, I think I'm just going to take the spin down. I don't think we can do much with the glass D6. Although, I guess I could take it to the shop and potentially use it on something in the shop. We'll try that out. Taking my sweet ass time here, I realize. I think it's worthwhile. Right, what was in here? Yeah, we'll reroll that. To something even grosser. Another active item. Despicable. Despicable. Right. Back here, we'll grab our uh, spin down. Drop that out here for now. Wait, does it say? All pickups in the room. Okay. Cool, we've got the spin down now. Right, I'm going to quickly go to the back to the shop and check to see if that thing is worth spinning down. Because it might be, you never know. But I think then we'll just be on our way. Seeing what's what. Nah, it's not. It's not. Sadly, it is not. We keep it moving and grooving. I'm pretty happy with this run. I just, Spirit of Acceptance would have been so fun to get on floor one. Like, that is such an OP item. Basically, 50% of all items you pick up get duplicated. It's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. And it, look, getting that on the first floor is magic. But no. Can't have that magic where we're going. Lovely. I mean, I've got plenty of HP, so I'll be honest, I don't really care about being hit like that. I want to be using Golden Plum Flute in rooms that have a lot of enemies, I think, so that I can make the most out of the extra gold we get. Good. Oh my god, I keep almost getting hit. I'm like narrowly dodging. Good. Wasn't really a good place to use plum flute there. This is a good one. Ugh. Okay, so it seems like what it has to do 
is he has to do the little jumpy jump that he just did, and then the coins that he spews out then have to hit an enemy for it to spawn money. So it's not super simple to make it work on a normal room, but I think bosses it should happen fairly regularly. Bosses we should see it happen in a good amount. Smelter is pretty decent. I like Smelter. I don't think it's worth smelting the trinket we have right now, though. Either way, let's keep it going. You out? Where are you going to land? Little screechy fella, you alright? You're stomping around and screaming a little bit. Go. We got... what? what what's this again? I don't remember what this is. <gasps> Cancer. Okay, now, now I do want to smell that, I'll be honest. Um, take one full heart of damage and get... Okay, so basically it's um, the sanguine um, bond, but random chance. We didn't get anything for that one, unfortunately. Um, I think we bomb this. That was worth it. Happy with that. Okay, so now I think we want to go and quickly do a smelty smelty. I've got a little bit of an idea forming here. A little bit of an idea forming. So first of all, we go over and we smelt cancer, because cancer's amazing. And then we keep the smelter to try and get an additional charge to then smelt another trinket before we leave the floor. Preferably the uh, the red line that was in the secret room there, because that increases the duration of status effects such as slow. See if that works. Willow is great. Really like Willow here. Willow does some very nice damage. Can be a little overwhelming visually, but oh well. Fine. Also, the Willow can burn, I think, too, which is even more status effects. We do need another bomb to make this work, though, so hoping we get a bomb at some point. Hoping we will. Unfortunately, there's a tinted rock there as well that we can't get right now. Mega heart pack here. Beautiful. So smell is ready again now. There's a bomb in there that we can't get to. Come on, game. Give us a bomb. Don't be like this, game. Don't be like this. Give us a bomb. There wasn't one in the shop either, I don't think. Pill. Puberty. There's a second secret room we could get. We don't have a bomb for it, so it doesn't matter. I'll just, just go do the boss now. Maybe I'll stick with... I don't know. Gold, golden golden Plum Flute seems more unique than Smelter, but I do like Smelter a lot. Oh, dude, come on now. I'm getting hit by some bullshit here. Dude, yet again... Same thing as last time, I'm one consumable off of making this whole thing work. But the game say a no, no, no. Basically what I wanted to do is come in here, bomb this, status effects apply to enemies last twice as long, and that's pretty good, um, and then smelt it. But we can't do that. I mean, I can smelt this one at least, but not all that satisfying. Um... Hmm. Seeing if there's anywhere that I'm missing that I could get a bomb from. I don't think there is. It's, it's annoying that I wasted one on this thinking it was a secret room. Definitely no bomb there. I'll take that back for now, I guess. Smelt is fun, but I, I really like the idea of sticking with golden, flute, golden plum flute just because it's unique and different. Nothing in the item room I can get, right? Nothing here, although that is probably where second secret room is. That's a, that's a real shame. 
a real shame that you did that to me, game. Anyhow, we'll leave it behind. At least it's nothing crazy. We've, we've got cancer smelted al already. That's good, at least. Keep on going. Like I said, smelter is probably better overall. But I like the idea of being able to get money from our active here and just using it for uh, clearing rooms and stuff. It's nice. I just wish I could have the fire and slow it. Why? Why does it do this to you? Why does it do this? It, it knows. It knows. It clearly knows. Does it on purpose, I swear. Right. At least we can keep going on this run. At least, realistically, the extra length status effects doesn't make an awful lot of difference to our overall run, I don't think. That's not secret room. God damn. I need to be way more sure of where secret room is before I use a bomb. I'm using him willy nilly at the minute. It's not a good idea. Oh, you got a penny there. Only one there. That's pretty good. Um, I will try and afford that. You watch it not give me a single penny for the rest of the floor now. Now nah, there you go. We got one already. Booyah. Okay, there's secret room. That's, that's way more obvious. But still, that's, that, this is good. I like that. Even higher fire rate, baby. Yeah, we need another bomb now to get into the secret room. Now yeah, what this is. Um... <sighs> Kind of a difficult one. It's a decent item, but with the speed that we have right now, I would say it's probably not a great idea. Puberty. Unfortunately, it doesn't spin down into anything decent, though. Penny there, I should probably grab that. Good, let me just grab that penny real quick before I forget. Boom, bow. Thank you, thank you. Keep on zooming and moving. Go, my little wisps. Kill him. Why aren't you killing him? There you go. I said that you could. What the fuck? What hit me then? Does anyone know what hit me then? Dude. Here's another place where I could really use a bomb. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Okay, there's a bomb for sale at least. That I can't afford. <sighs> okay, it's there. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's fine, it's fine. We got a bomb back for it as well. We get Cracker Jacks, which is another trinket. Batteries give a damage up for the current floor instead of charging your active item. That's actually pretty decent for, for our situation, I think. I don't think this, this uh, active warrants... Um, a lot of charges. Fortunately, it was a pretty worthless secret room. Might be one of the ones that gives stuff after everything's dead, though. I think it gave us a bomb back, at least. Right, we'll go up in that golden chest. Now, actually, no, we've only got one key. Let's not bother. Let's not bother. Right, let's use this on the boss and get some money back, hopefully, depending on the boss. Yeah, there you go. If it does that on the boss, it just gives us a ton of money. Lovely. There's our angel deal. Um, unfortunately, I think we just take that. That spins down into pageant. Are you kidding me? Um, really really crap. I guess I'll take Scapula. Um, we've done Mega Satan here, haven't we? We haven't. Okay. This is very risky, but I'm just going to blow them both up and fight them both at once. I've got a lot of HP, so I'm relatively certain in my abilities to do this. 
But I don't know if I'm going to get another angel deal, so I thought it best. The thing is as well, the annoying thing is spinning one of these down to give us death touch. Look, this, this next key piece will spin down to death touch. I suppose I could spin it down and then kill another angel later on. It's a bit of a risk, but... Like, I take that one. This one spins down to death's touch. I'm gonna try it. I I'm gambling. I'm gambling. I'm gonna hope that I get another angel deal down the line. It's early enough in the run that we should. And I need, to I need a bomb when I go into it as well. Consumables have been the bane of our existence today. Right. Yeah, Death Touch, pretty huge for us. We've got really good fire rates. The fire rate down doesn't mean much. Um, extra damage, very nice. Obviously, piercing, very nice. Bigger tears, nice. Bleeding Heart, I absolutely love this. This is yet another reason why having the status effects last longer would have been good, because this will be this will affect charm. This is exactly the trinket I got before, look. When a deal doesn't appear, um, there you go. I'll take that, I'll take that. Yeah, that's exactly the one that I got before. The same trinket. And it rewarded me so heavily. Ow. Taking a lot of dumb damage right now. Honestly, just go for it. Cleaning house right now. Trinkets. Trinkets, sorry. Pills, I'm not so bothered about. I don't know why I said trinkets. Okay, literally, trinkets are just on the mind right now. I'm using them so often. Seeing them so often. What? Okay, I lost my burn heart. It's fine. I didn't really need it. What does bleeding heart do again? 5% chance to fire charm tears. Charmed enemies now fire um, player tears in random directions. Okay. So yeah, the duration thing would have been nice in this situation. This is only Dank Depths 1, so we can go for this. Ah, oh, he missed with all of his goddamn coins. I was really banking on you hitting this guy for a bunch of money so that I could... Uh, afford whatever angel dealer ends up giving me because if I can't afford it again I'm actually gonna cry so this boss Ugh. Ugh. I feel so bad for like dissing on these bosses so hard when people worked really hard on them but they're they're just not fun to fight okay so I got headless baby I'll take that this doesn't affect our angel deal chance uh it said in the item description so I, I can take that freely but yeah, I just... Ugh. They just irk me so much. I, I wish I liked them more, and I know that a lot of effort went into them. But yeah, they're just not fun to play. Guess I'll just take this. Yeah, that, that boss specifically, when he does that attack where he dashes across the whole room and literally covers the entire room in fire... Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know who thought that was a good idea. Anyways, I've complained about those bosses enough. Care of. Lovely. Ow. For some reason I did not see that coming. That was a good hit. Wow. Gimpy's pretty good here. Don't steal my goddamn charges, you gooses. What does Yen Penny do? Nah, that's not great. Right, should we get out of here? Maybe not yet, we'll see. The enemy of a billion spiders. I'm not really getting charm hitting that often. I think I need more luck, but yeah, my charm tiers are really rare. Yeah, let's get gone. 
keep it moving and grooving. Yeah, it's been a decent floor so far, I think. Got some decent stuff. Sadly, not really the money gains I was hoping for. Our plum flute let us down a bit because of the boss that we got being quite mobile. Not really gonna be as effective against mobile bosses by the looks of things, which is a shame. Don't know what that guy was bending over for then, but it was slightly worrying. Right, I'll let you do your thing first. Ah, dude, it's really annoying that only the coins that hit after he does the bounce affect them, because misses out on so much. Ooh, we got a, a big old skull here. Gimpy procced as well. I already lost my angel chance though. Dude, I was saying oh, it's going to be easy to get another angel deal. Proceeds to get hit a thousand times in the first few seconds of the floor. We won't pick these up until we've got red hearts available. We get ourselves Ghost Baby. Out of the selection of items I could have got out of that, I think Ghost Baby is probably one of the worst. Grab that real quick. Open up, you fool. Why are you still alive, exactly? Oh, there's a button down here. Bloody hell, there's a button. This is Dank Depths 2, so we don't want to go for the boss yet. Yeah, we've got two burn hearts in here, right? Yeah, so we need two red hearts somewhere on the floor at some point. Otherwise, we're going to lose those pretty damn fast. Good. Fested. Not bad, not bad. Take out the big boy. It'd be nice if we got a sack room, actually. There's a sack room available for a good old rainbow thingy. Rainbow poop, that'd be nice. Got no bombs. Tried to bomb that. Got no bombs. Always got no bombs. Have we even seen a sack room this, this run at all? I mean, I'm not really, I've not really been paying attention to them because I've not needed them, but feels like I haven't. Oh god. Stay away from me, creeps. Ah, I didn't realize it was a spike chest. It's okay, we got a soul heart back out of it. Come on, Saccharum, where art thou? Got to be one of you somewhere. Looking very unlikely, though. Okay, we got a bomb now. We can open this up. Try and get some soul hearts out of the fires. Here's our money, at least. Ideal. I don't even know if we can get a sack room having seen as much of the floor as we have. I'm not sure. Dude, this floor's so long. What the hell? Everything requires bombs. We never have any bombs. Stop requiring bombs, everything. Oh, bomb. <laughs> Wasn't worth it, but we got a bomb back out of it, so it kind of was worth it. Dude, this floor's crazy big. Dude, it just keeps going. How and why? How and why? Definitely noticing some frame rate issues compared to normal. So that new monster mod, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Because that's the only thing I've installed. I'm definitely feeling it a little bit. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Oh, there was another item room? Oh, wait, did I never see my item room? What the hell? I thought this was maybe an XL floor. Nope, I just never actually saw the item room. Good job I came back here then, isn't it? Sostur. Sostur is actually worthless. Um, after standing still for a certain amount of time, you get a pretty minor stat increase. But 
literally when do you ever stand still in this game? Like, ever. It, it just never happens. So, we got a bit of a speed down for fairly little reason there. It's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying indeed. Keep it moving there. We're going to take our burn hearts now, actually. I've completely forgot they were there. We've got plenty of red hearts, luckily. But yeah, I completely forgot about those. I just kind of left them on the floor and carried on with my day. I'm not sure if it's Gimpy that's provided us with these red hearts or if we've just been lucky with drops, but either way, pretty happy. Uh, I don't remember if Shop had, either had anything worthwhile in it. In fact, I don't even remember if it had items in it. I always think if I forget what's in the shop, it can't have been that good. Like, it must not have been great. Oh, we don't know. Simple as. Uh, let's do the boss because we might get an angel item. I'd rather not spend it on a crappy shop item. But this is going to miss this, isn't it? Yeah, no coins for us. He needs to, needs to do that directly on top of the enemy, really. Right, we're doing decent damage, but not a lot. 7.5 is okay. Uh, we're doing negative, right? Yeah, we're doing negative. Down we go. I'm not I'm not particularly pleased with where this run's sitting right now. It's decent enough. It's decent enough. Amalgam of hearts. I'm just hoping we don't take too long finding our way. The womb is always a bit fickle with their uh, wrong directions, as we know. I think we can stick this run through if we don't take too many wrong turns. I mean, the good thing is, in terms of winning the run, I think we're pretty set. We've got a ton of HP. It would, it would take me playing pretty badly for quite a quite an extended period of time to die right now, especially on this floor. I mean, of course I'm going to get hit from time to time, but especially while I've got burn hearts, getting hit isn't that big of a deal. Of course, we have gone the wrong way a good few times already here, which is standard practice. That's a tinted rock as well, I see. And we have bombs for it, wow. To be fair, this trinket that heals you when you open locks, haven't really ever thought much of it. But it's actually pretty decent. It's actually got some pretty good use cases. I didn't actually realize that it worked on golden chests. I thought it was just doors. So I thought like on these floors it'd be useless sort of thing. But you know what? We're getting some good use out of it from the golden chests. Of course we've uh, gone the big wrong way here. Angel deals no longer vanish when another item is taken, but cost health. Eh, do you know what? I'll take that, just in case. I also burn heart for doing that, which honestly wasn't very smart, but eh. I'm intrigued by the item, so I don't mind it. Yeah, definitely noticing... Uh, it's not, like, significant by any means, but I'm noticing slightly more frame issues than I normally do. Um, So it might, it might just be, like, adding 4,000 new rooms. Probably is adding 4,000 new rooms that causes it. Keep going the wrong way, goddammit. There's more to this room? Why? Hill, I'm not so interested in right now. Seems a bit risky. Alright, boss time. Oh, I lost my goddamn thingy, uh, burn heart. Did good damage to you, though. Did real good damage to you. And we got a devil deal? Why? Why did we get a devil deal? Ugh. I was going to do Mega Satan and everything. 
And to, to be fair, this run isn't really Mega Satan ready, I'll be honest. Like, health-wise, we're fine, but I think in terms of actually killing Mega Satan in a timely manner, we're not in a really good spot for that, so... I'm not super bummed about missing Mega Satan, but it's still a little annoying when uh, I had the opportunity and threw it away for Death's Touch. But then again, had I not thrown it away for Death's Touch, would we be as far as we are right now? Because um, Death's Touch has very much been um, a big part of our damage. Good. Mini Isaacs. Wrong way again. Gotta love it. Gotta, gotta love it. These little spaceship little meat things are really annoying as well, because they shoot you with, with that tear that's kind of hard to see. Right, let's hope this is the right way here. It's not. Dude. I'm... Someone... Can someone just make a mod that adds mapping to the womb at all times? It's so frustrating. There's no reason to explore at all, apart from extra consumables, which I don't care for. So frustrating to just go the wrong way constantly. I know there is a mod out there that makes every womb an XL floor, uh, so that you don't have to do two womb floors, kind of like how Shul and uh, Cathedral and Chest and Dark Room are only like one floor. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, that doesn't really solve the problem fully, and it means you miss out on a Devil Deal chance as well. That's probably a good room for this guy. I say that and then he gets this the boss gets absolutely miles away from. Oh no, we, we got him, we got him. The red heart there. Be careful. Oh my goodness. Lost my black heart now. Don't you dare take this angel chance away from me. Don't you dare. I need it. I think. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even. I was paying zero attention. Oh my god, it's the boss. It's been a million years I've seen you. Dude, being hit so much right now. How does my bomb end up going down? New mum is so difficult. I, I really, really wish they'd remove this attack. I think the, the mum rework as a whole is pretty fun. I'm not a fan of this attack. It, it just, it's like a bullet hell pattern, like Toho or something, but this isn't that sort of game, I don't think. Doesn't, it, it doesn't work so well. Right, I, I should probably go back and get HP. At this point, I'm like kind of over this run. <laughs> it's it's frustrating me. Like our speed being kind of low, our damage being kind of low. Just ugh, feels like a bit of a slog. At least we're gonna get back to full health here from all of these, or not? Because I'm just gonna walk into some spikes. You know. You know how it is. Sometimes I do just be walking into spikes for literally no reason. Congratulations, Turtle. You are a fool. Anyways. Through we go. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. We're, we're full. Right. Now we just got to make our way through this next floor and the dark floor and see what we get. But Angel Deal uh, doing whatever it's called is, is out of the question now. What the fuck just hit me? That's confusing. 
Wait, what? You sucked me in. That's a thing. That thing you do, is it? Okay. That's apparently a thing you do. Dude, yeah, the frames in some rooms are really bad. I'm gonna have to sort that out. It's annoying when, when you use a new mod and you're like excited for it, and then it just absolutely wreaks havoc on your frame rate. Like, for example, the um Eternal Heart, nice. The uh the mod that adds like the unbidden and a few of the other characters like that. Really goddamn good mod, but it just adds way too much lag, so I can't use it. And it's just a shame, because they're, they're really good mods. Um, and this monster one seems like maybe another one. Just having a lot of mods causes issues, but at the same time, I don't want to get rid of, like, Fiend Folio and stuff, because I really like that mod. Right, boss time. Three, two... One. That was a little bit early. See, the lag even throws off the timing on that. I can tell because that normally should have been correct. Piercing is helpful here. Second phase, let's go. Don't need the money anymore, but it's nice to have it, I guess. Ah, oh, dude. I'm messing this up, something royal. It's okay, there we got it. Weren't too bad, weren't too bad. Right, down we go. We'll see what our deals are here. Our um, four chests, see if there's anything decent. I'm hoping for um, something that's going to change our run a little bit. We didn't get that. <laughs> All that stuff is not really worth the HP. Minos is pretty good, but not ideal. Golden bombs is kind of nice here. I don't have any special bombs, but extra bomb damage is extra bomb damage. And we're going to say no. Ah, oh, the Hermin got me. Good. Health drops are coming in on the regular because of Gimpy, I think. Dude, why do my bombs keep going off at wacky angles? Stop that. Doubt we're going to get too many chests along the way here. Probably a bit of a waste in this room. Oh, there's mushrooms in here too. I didn't see those. Stone Ghosts as well. Ah, damn it. One of them survived. And is refusing to pop back up again. There you go. Finally. Right. Bosseth, where art thou? Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I was bound to get hit there. Dude, there's just so much HP about. It must be Gimpy that's doing this. Why can't I get that heart? That was great. That didn't. That, that, that put it exactly where I wanted it. But yeah, this, like Gimpy must be doing something to do with these hearts. Because normally it only gives half hearts, but it seems to be giving full ones. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm, I'm fairly sure Gimpy's the only thing that could possibly be giving me hearts. How did I not get hit there? Wow. That's kind of impressive. I'm impressed with myself. I yearn for that spirit of acceptance run. It would have been so good. Oh, dude. Don't you whack my shit back at me. There's another red heart. Wow. Okay. Dude, get off me. Back off. Oh, dude. Getting shit on right now. Boy, taking unprecedented amounts of damage right now.
quickly skip back. I, I picked up a Rotten Heart by accident as well, which I'm kind of annoyed about. Did not mean to take the Rotten Heart. But we are back to full. The exception of the Rotten Heart. It's fine. I'm pretty sure boss is this way. It seems likely. Especially when you find your first large room. Normally large rooms are an indication of going the right way. Calm down. We've got a bomb in there as well. Boom, bow. A oh, little midgy guy. I was wondering what the hell was left. I need to be using Plum Flute closer to the boss when I uh, pop it. Because the way I'm using it right now, there's like a second or so where he doesn't have time to like do any damage because he's not near the boss already. Okay, I'm not doing Void, I'll be honest. Uh, I probably should try it. I'll try it, there's no harm. I want to keep the streak alive, but I guess there's no harm in trying it. And my biggest issue is just in the Void, I never, ever, ever go the right way early on. It's always just thousands of wrong ways before I hit the right way. But we'll see how the game rewards us here. Ow. Well, I've plenty of red hearts about. That's a good thing, at least. There'll be no shortage of that. Right, wrong way already. I mean, it's, I suppose it's good to find a wrong way early on. I suppose that's good at least. Uh, God damn. I'll come back for any red hearts that I need when I need them. I don't need to be doing it right now. Ooh, what the hell are these little toxic things? Can I blow them up? Are they just tile sets pieces? I don't know. They look interesting. Realistically, I'm playing like an idiot right now, but it's absolutely fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Hey, like, there you go. Look, two red hearts there. We're back to full health. If only I could kill this little brain. Beautiful. Okay, first boss. Will it be the man himself? I kind of hope it is. Maybe not now that I've been hit a bunch. And it's Mr. Fred. Mr. Fred's going down pretty quick. Ooh, he's doing the, the angled shots both times. Just missed me. By a hair. Okay, so one boss taken care of. And we get Lord of the Pit. Kind of interesting. I'll take Lord of the Pit. I know it reduces our health by a lot, but I really want extra speed. And flight ain't half bad either. But maneuvering around this floor is just a slog when we're at such low speeds. Good. Another boss. We got Delirium straight away. Okay, unfortunately we don't have Plum Flute available, but I think that's not terrible. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Holy shit. You are not taking a lot of damage at all, are you, my good friend? 
8.4 damage is not a lot for you, is it? I mean, like I said, I'll try my best, but this is probably not going to go too hot because, yeah, we're just... It's just going to take forever. We've got about 2% of his health bar done so far. No, it's probably close to about 5. But still. We don't have uh, unlimited bombs anymore either, so that's lowering our potential damage output. What we need to do is ha have him spawn as regular delirium a bunch. Dude, the explosive shot went for miles. Holy shit. I mean, we're doing well to have not been hit yet, I'll say that, but... This might be the lowest, like, damage output DPS that I've ever had against this boss. Like, this is so unbelievably slow. I think I've beaten with Nord Leave before, though. That was probably slower, but at least then I could just go and, like, get some food. Because that's a fast hit. About 15% of the way through the fight. Mr. Fred looks crazy. Good. Ooh, we got a heart there. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. Quite lovely though. Will you spawn spiders? I don't know what, what how you work. I really should be using my marks on the ground if I can, but it's really hard to create like a decent sized one with the amount of tears on screen. But we're doing a good job of avoiding them at least. I mean, that's something. Sadly, Edmund has fully, fully announced that the rework for this uh, boss has been completely canned. What the hell? Hello. Didn't see you there. And now we can make big ones of these with our higher speed. But really know if the damage from them is going to be enough. Do much for us. Oh, dude, we can create some massive ones. Holy shit. I think the bigger they are as well, the more damage they do. Just not really easy to create a big enough one in a space that he's going to stay. I kind of want to die. This is this is taking way too long. I've been here for so long. What on earth is going on? Ow. Yeah, this is this is this is over. I'm going to kill myself. I can't be asked with this. <laughs> it's taking way too long. I'm going to be here another 16 years if I bother with this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.